going on everyone welcome back and rabbit here with another educational video on iron fish so this one is going to show you how to update your nodes when mainnet does go live it's a pretty simple process as you can see three days 18 hours at the time of recording until mainnet does hit hopefully it doesn't get delayed this time last time it was like 15 hours beforehand it did get delayed so there could always be delays so second once we show you how to update your node i'm also going to show you how to convert it into a mining pool so that you can begin solo mining to your own node and eliminate any type of pool fees as well as start adding decentralization to the blockchain right from the start all right, so here I am inside of my little node box. It's just a little B-Link U59 Pro, and I run all my nodes throughout this. It works just fine, especially for Ironfish. It's all you need for this. So I'm going to come into here. Previously, I showed you how to set up your node to get your mining wallet address, as well as point your rigs and mine to Hero Miner. So in this one, same type of progress, but I did get an inside tip here. It's not an inside tip, but I got a tip to use ISE instead of just running PowerShell because in PowerShell last time I had to have a whole bunch of windows open individually in ISE you can just run a bunch of tabs and keep everything neatly together so we're going to run ISE as administrator simply right click and then click on it it's going to pop up and ask you for permission you just hit yes right there and now it's going to load it up. So I just popped into the Ironfish Discord to show you there is a new testnet release just to test your stuff. So that's the version here I'm going to upgrade to. And then again, when mainnet hits, it's going to be the exact same thing. And then future releases in the future, you do the exact same steps. It'll work. But 0.1.76 is a network reset. The last before the mainnet. Once you upgrade to this version, you will need to reset your node database by running Ironfish Reset. This command should keep your keys intact, but we suggest exporting and backing up your account keys. Ironfish wallet uh, semicolon export here. That's the command we're going to need. I'll show you how to do that in a bit prior to upgrading to be safe. So just before mainnet as well, you're going to want to run this command. I ran through it in our how to mine video with hero miners, but that's to get your private keys as well as your seed phrase and everything and so on. The export command is your private keys and you're going to need to import this during mainnet so that you can keep the same wallets moving forward or you can just start a node from start. But we're going to keep our same keys here. So we're going to run through that process. So the first thing you are going to want to do is export your wallet's private keys because that will be your backup, whether your computer goes down, you need to put this on a different PC or something to get your coins, or if something goes wrong, it says your coins and private keys will be safe, but always have a backup of it. You should already based on my other video on how to mine and everything, but this is how you export your keys. You go Ironfish space wallet semicolon export. You can see the command right there. So I'm simply going to hit enter and it should export all my private keys of my wallet once it's done doing its thing. So there's my private keys. I do have this blurred out for security purposes, but simply copy the entire line and save that into a notepad, put it on a USB stick, put it somewhere so that you will not lose that because then you will be importing that by doing the same command, but you will use Ironfish space wallet semicolon import and that will import your keys back into there readjusting your wallet so you don't lose anything and restoring it if you are someone who just likes to read steps instead i will have a link to the ironfish installation down in the description but to update your node it's exactly the same as installing your node in the first place npm install dash g space ironfish will normally install your node for the very first time and then to update your node it's the exact same parameter so that's step one here in updating our node here you can see within powershell npm install dash g ironfish then simply hit enter and it will begin the installation process so we're just going to let it sit for a while and do its thing So now you can see the update did do some package changes and everything. So we're going to run a command just to make sure we're on the latest version by going ironfish status. Okay, so I actually forgot to do the reset first, but as you can see, this is a good thing because you might run into this, but you can see 
uh, the definition does not match the existing chain Genesis block because the chain was reset with this update. The same thing is going to happen on mainnet. So we actually have to reset our node right from block one, actually zero, and that's got to resync everything again. So we're going to run Ironfish reset. Hit enter. Now it's actually going to reset your node, which is pretty much wiping clean all the data. And then it's going to start from block zero. And from there, it's going to have a new Genesis block and everything moving on to the current chain that's there. All right, guys. So I have been on here for like an hour and it hasn't updated or done anything. I went to the system logs. Nothing's using any resources. So it's pretty much, I don't know, it's not doing anything. So I'm going to do this a different way. If we see where this blockchain actually is, we can see users, rabbit, ironfish, database, chain. So I'm going to go into there. There's also this host JSON. I'm going to leave that one for now and we'll see if I have to delete it or not. But we're going to get rid of the blockchain because that's what we're trying to delete here. And we're going to restart a new one from scratch. So I'm going to go into my actual explorer, scroll down till we find our desktop. Actually scroll down till we get to our C drive. Go into our users and then Rabbit, which is what I have this in. Find Ironfish, Databases, and Chain. This is what we got to get rid of. Now, if we double check and confirm, always double and triple check things just to make sure. But you can see here, it's going to get rid of the direct following directories and files of the databases chain. So I'm just going to delete this chain right here, and it should wipe the blockchain. And then when we start it, it'll restart everything. So I'm just going to go to delete. Probably going to ask me yes complete so i'm going to do its thing bam so it's gone the wallet is still here we got all our files and everything so that should be good to go in theory but remember always have it backed up by doing that export command at the beginning and then we can just import it later on so now i'm going to try to run the node and see if this actually does anything so I'm going to go into file, make a new PowerShell tab. And this is where it's really nice because now you can see I just have tabs here. Normally, I would have been opening up a whole bunch of new PowerShell windows. And it was kind of a pain to minimize and open everything. So now we have everything within tabs. But let's start this up here. I'm going to run Ironfish start and see if we start getting the new blockchain now from the upgrade. Running the command there, ironfish start. So let's just let it do its thing. And there we go. So now we got some type of error here. What is it? So we got uh, resetting accounts database because accounts head was not found in chain, yada, yada, yada. We deleted all that, but we can see the server and everything is now started. And we can also see the version here, 0 0.1.76. So we're all good there in terms of the chain, the node and everything is firing up. It's syncing up. Everything is working now and it's on the latest version. So while the chain is syncing, I'm going to come up here, make yet another PowerShell tab. And then I want to run the status. This is what's going to tell you the status of everything being connected, what it's doing, the progress of its sync status and so on. So we're going to run Ironfish status. Hit enter, and now it's going to tell us exactly how far into the blockchain we're in sync and so on. So here you can see we got our version number, our memory, our CPUs, everything we need to know about this node is right here. It's currently in syncing phases. Uh, should have a percentage here. Obviously, we're not synced. Sync head, 87 hours, 19 minutes, not synced. So the progress, 8.37% is right here. So you can just keep the last command that you used. You can leave this PowerShell open and just keep hitting up, enter, up, enter, and it'll continue giving your status so you can keep an eye on everything within your node. All right, so our node is fully in sync with the blockchain. It was a very fast process because the testnet was just reset and mainnet, we're starting from block zero into one in Genesis. So that'll be fast as well. Obviously, if you're watching this a year down the road, it's going to take a lot longer to download the blockchain because so many more blocks have been found. Regardless, now we cannot solo mine yet. We got to enable pool mode in order to point our rigs to this. If we just start slapping rigs towards our node, it's not going to do anything except waste idle energy. So we got to enable pool mode here. I don't want to just throw out the commands. I want to actually show you guys how to navigate the help command. So if you're looking for different things to do, you're able to do it all by yourself. So I'm going to start with Ironfish help.
and this will give us all of our help commands within the basic ironfish folders here so here we can see we got our mempool config miners peers and so on here's wallet if you go ironfish wallet help then it'll give you the list of all your commands within the wallet like your address uh, import export all that type of stuff that you can use for your wallet but here we want to figure out how do we set up our mining pool and right here it is miners start a mining pool that connects to a node so i'm going to simply move into the next help command ironfish miners help And now it's going to give us all the help commands that we need to do for the miners. I already know the command, so I'm not going to go into the next steps, but you can see you can keep going forward more and more directories using that help command and seeing what everything does. So here we can see miners, semicolon pools, and this will start a mining pool that connects to a node. So I'm actually going to begin this pool right now and by simply using this command. So here you can see I have iron fish, then we got miners, semicolon, pools, semicolon, start. This will actually start the mining pool. So I'm going to hit enter there. It's going to take a second or two to do its thing, think about its stuff. And now we can see our pool is enabling. So now it's like we have a stratum and everything's set up. At this point, we can now point our rigs towards iron fish. Now here you can see insufficient funds for payout, yada, yada. So once you find the block, you'll obviously then have funds within your pool account and it will send it to your wallet address. So in order to point rigs at your node, you're going to have to figure out the IP4 address of your node PC that it's on, as well as the mining port. Now you can see the mining port already hosted stratum via TCP on 9034. So this is your port right here that you're going to use with the IP of your node PC. Now you got to find the IP of your actual node PC. So we're going to come into here. We're going to find our command prompt. Let me grab my keyboard. I got my keyboard. Find your command prompt. And then you're inside of here. We're going to type in IP config. IP config. And now we can see on our local address, IP for address is 192.168.1.70. And then again, that port is 9034. That is what we got to put in our miner to mine to this node. Now, a lot of people with previous videos are wondering, what if you're on an outside connection and stuff? You're probably going to have to open up some ports on your router, as well as find your public IP address by simply going into, uh, you know, Google and typing my IP and stuff like that. So this isn't a setup video for that. I don't want to show any of my security type of IP so no one tries to hack me. But this is the IP you need to do it within your own home network, the IP4 address. So now we got to configure our miner for our node for Ironfish. So in this case, we're going to use BZ miner. Previously, I used SRB miner, but now BZ miner uh, with the help of LOL. I, I cannot pronounce that. But the LOL guys have also got together with BZ Miner and they figured out Iron Fish as well as other conjoint efforts with Nexa and so on. So they're also kind of working together, which is good. We're going to utilize BZ Miner in this case. And to set this up, all we got to do is simply go into our Iron Fish thing here. And you can see that they also have the workarounds of how to do it yourself within your node. Run the Iron Fish pool using the command and they got it all right here for you. So that's an awesome start as well. Anyway, we're going to go in here. We're going to get rid of these two dots because this is the miner we want to run. Those two semicolons will disable the miner. So you got to get rid of them to run whatever parameter you want here. Uh, we're going to remove these zeros here with the slash W or I guess a dash W with our wallet address. So we want to put that in right there. And then we need our node. So they already got the node solo node here port already in there for you so you don't have to worry about that but remember you need that ip4 address so in this case mine is 192.168.1.70 and that's pretty much it i did miss this i apologize but up here with hero miners you can see that it's missing or yeah the semicolons are gone so it's gonna start that first so make sure you simply add that in so that it does jump straight to the one we just set up. Or you could just copy this and put it on top. Either way works, but 
Just do that, save it, and you should be good. Now let's do some overclocking here and jump to hashrate.no because hashrate.no, Blake 3 is the same as Elysium. So we're going to set our overclocks based on Elysium and then start our miner. So I am in Elysium here, and it looks like we need a locked core clock for my 3090, which is in my workstation of 1305, and a memory lock of 810. It's not saying any type of core offset. We'll probably get away with around 255, 300 here, but we're just going to go as is. You can set it to whatever you want if you're already used to Elysium type overclocks. We'll look at overclocking for Ironfish once mainnet hits so we can get a rough idea here. So I'm going to... I like to use the LOL Miner GUI for overclocking windows. I don't know. I just got used to using it, and I really like it. So I'm going to click this for our core clock, click this for our memory. So we're going to want 810 on our memory here. Make sure you do run this LOL Miner GUI as an administrator, or they won't apply. And then for our core clock, again, we need 1305. Now I'm just going to bring up Afterburner so you can see how this actually sets the overclock. So I'm going to move this over, and now you're... Now I'm at 5001, 1035. I'm going to apply the OC. It did okay. Now you can see we are at 1305 on the core and 810 on our memory. So our overclocks are good to go. We're just going to minimize that, minimize that. Now jump to our bat file and run it. So before I actually begin the miner here, I want to run through the status. So I'm going to minimize this right quick. We're going to go to our node and you can see the commands I kind of had in here, but we're going to run ironfish miners semicolon pool semicolon status and right now we can see we have no miners or anything connected once it does finally load up there we go so miners zero i got a hash rate of 8.32 mega hash that's because i did just test my miner to make sure it did connect so i didn't look like an idiot but it was working so we can see what's happening here right now there's zero miners connected so if i come in and actually start this miner now we're going to double click this Minus it out so you can kind of see what's going on. It's connecting to our node and everything with our wallet address. I'm going to minimize this. We're going to run our node again now. Same command. Just by simply hitting up because it's the last command we have. And this is why multiple windows and tabs is awesome right here. Because we can just swap between everything we have running. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And we should be able to see one miner connected to our node because we're only running my single workstation. And there it is. So miners, I got one miner connected to my node. So at that point, I am now up in solo mining with my workstation. Let's move on to Hive OS and I'll kind of show you how to do this as well. Okay, so now we're in Hive OS and we'll show you how to point to your node here. So we're gonna have to get a new coin here and everything set up from scratch. Now, if you don't yet have a wallet, simply click on the wallets tab here hit add wallet, select Ironfish, it's a default in Hive OS now, Iron, paste your wallet address in here, and then enter your wallet name, whatever you want, and then create it, save it, it's good to go. But we're gonna go back into our flight sheets to create this flight sheet. I have two wallets already, uh, and we aren't even on mainnet yet, and I got two wallets, craziness. So we got Iron here, select wallet, node box wallet, and then pool, we wanna configure this in the miner, and then select our miner. We're going to go to BZ. We're going to use BZ miner again because why not? And then we're going to come into our name here. I'm just going to go test video solo node iron fish. That's quite the name I got going on, but that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go in the setup miner config. The algo is already here. Wallet template. And then we're going to go space or period, then worker name. I like to put them both right here. For some reason, when they have multiple boxes, LOL miners kind of like that as well. It glitches out sometimes, or maybe that's SRB miner. I can't remember, but I like to keep them together like so. Now we need our pool URL. This is where we're actually going to put in our node IP. So 192 again, 168.1.70, and then 9034. I believe that's what it was. I better bring this up again and see. Just to double check, you got to make sure you get the right port there, uh, 9034. So yes, the port is 9034. And again, depending on the IP, it'll yours will be different depending on the router you use and so on. So make sure you got your IP4 address. Don't just copy mine. It's most likely not going to work. So now we're going to actually do some overclocking within BZ Miner itself. So here is the commands you need for BZ Miner to put that. So I'm going to copy these actually. I'll try to get them in the description as long as YouTube doesn't edit out a bunch of these underscores or something. But I'll have this down there so you can just copy it and paste it into your own flight sheet and so on. But here I already adjusted. This is 1305 for a locked core clock. And again, we got 810 on the memory. So I'm just going to apply those changes 
and then create this flight sheet. So as for my rigs here, I obviously don't have the right overclocks for all these different GPUs in here, but we're just gonna show you how to do this. You can config everything as you want per GPU later on. So we're gonna go into the flight sheets here. I'm just gonna pick 13 more miners, actually 52 coins. We're gonna select iron, and now it'll bring up all the iron fish uh, flight sheets that I do have. Here's the one we just made, test video solo node iron fish. I'm just gonna send that to the moon by simply clicking on that. And now it's gonna have to probably download the latest BZ depending on the version you're running. If you ran BZ already lately since the last update, and then it will begin mining. So now we're gonna jump back to our node to make sure our rig actually connected. And just like before, here's the command I did. I simply pushed up. I wanted to reset it, but I kind of forgot. But we can see that we have a hash rate jump already. We have the octo rig on point. So I have my workstation 3090 shut off. There should only be one rig connected. And I can see one rig is now connected. So hopefully that does get you up and mining solo to Ironfish, as well as allow you to upgrade your node as future upgrades do happen. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped you out. I will see you all in the next one. If you have any questions at all, be sure to join my Discord or ask down in the comments section below. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.